everybody, it's Heart. Today I'm going to be showing you some American Girl life hacks. And I thought of this idea, like, spur of the moment. And I realized, like, no one has done this. So I thought it'd be kind of a cool idea to do. Um, I've come up with 10 life hacks for American Girl. Um, and I hope you find them helpful. Uh, some of them may be kind of obvious. But, um, yeah. So let's just get started. Number one is just to find a place to put all your dolls, um, whether it's your closet, a doll house, some like doll stands on your wall, a shelf, just to keep them like so you know where they are because if you have a lot of dolls, it can get really confusing like where you put them. And I usually put them in my closet, but right now they're kind of just hanging out in my room because it's like messy. And yeah, but um, I recommend finding a place to put them. Number two is if you need to remove a stain from a doll, like um, she has some stains like here and stuff, you can't really see them, but if you want to remove them, you can just like easily use magic eraser and uh, this is kind of one of the obvious ones, but if you're new to American Girl and like you get a stain on them, um, then you can use magic eraser and it will come right off and it won't take like any color. To make a really easy no sew doll shirt, all you need is a sock that is like a lost pair and some scissors so all you need to do is take the sock and just kind of cut it like so it's long enough for them these scissors really suck but I'll try my best so I ended up putting it on Madeline um, and as you can tell it's just a really cute um, easy simple DIY shirt and it requires no sewing it takes like two seconds and I'll show you another life hack using this shirt Okay, so this shirt can be a shirt and it can also be an infinity scarf. And I use this a lot. Like, you can obviously cut it better or do a different color pattern, but it's really cute and simple and you can just like make it into a little infinity scarf and it can also be a shirt. And it could be a headband too if you wanted, like that, but you know. Do whatever you want with it. It's like a really cool and easy thing. If you want to, you can hem it so it doesn't like flake all over the place. So if you don't have one of those handy dandy spray bottles that everyone uses and it's in every hair tutorial that you see, then you can just use an empty perfume bottle. And um, I have not run out of one yet, but if you like, it, whenever you run out of a perfume, just keep it in case you need a spray bottle and or like if your family member has one, then it's a really good alternative. It's basically a spray bottle, but perfume plus you don't have to go buy one, so it's a plus. If your doll has really bad like split ends and flyaways, all you have to do is brush it out like whatever, you know, and then twist it like a lot. Now, this is only in like severe cases, like when it's like out of control. But as you can see, Riley really doesn't have bad like flyaways. But all you want to do is like take your scissors and cut like right here, like if there's a little flyaway or whatever. But she doesn't have any to cut. So like if you, like Madeline does, but if they have like really bad split ends, their hair's frizzy from being old, then that's a really good thing to do. When you're taking pictures of your doll and you're really tired of this, yes, this is gonna be the perfect picture. Oh my gosh. I've got you covered. All you gotta do is take a tall chair or a regular chair, really doesn't matter, and then put it backwards and stand your doll up on it. And it will, it's a flat surface, like preferably, and then they won't be falling down unless it's really windy. Um, but they won't fall down, plus you can get like a cool background, cause you know you suffer, like when you're on the ground, sometimes there'll be just like grass in the background and it's boring. So like if you put them on a chair, then there could be colorful leaves in the background or something like that. So if you want a good background for your videos and don't want to use a wall like I am, yeah, I need to buy this. All you need to do is go to the dollar store and get like a poster board, any color really, and just, put it up on the wall and then like it's a background and also um, you could use a green poster board for a green screen. Before buying like a really expensive thing for American Girl, check on Craigslist or eBay before because I got the volleyball outfit for 20 bucks um, 
and like uh, normally it'd be like 32 so just check before you buy from American Girl and lastly if you're making a stop motion I recommend turning on like some TV like Netflix or something or put music on because it like motivates you and you're not bored like just moving them inch by inch by inch um and that's what i do when i make stuff so that was it for the life hacks i hope you guys enjoyed sorry this was a tiny bit rushed like i talk really fast because i'm hyper right now um also my camera's dying so yeah i hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching comment below what your favorite life hack was i promise i'll have more videos up soon and i will try to schedule some uploads during the school week because really i have no time um like i said because i have volleyball and dinner <laughs> like school and you know i just don't have time to upload or make videos but i'm gonna stop stock up on them and then schedule the uploads so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye